What is up? Y'all welcome back to the American Made YouTube channel. Dude, look at that dim light. I'm smoking in the video, which I never do, except for one day of the video sometimes, which means it's Friday, which means we got another beer review. And we are still on Anheuser Busch kick of the last couple of weeks because today we got. You know what? I'm not going to say what it is. I'm just going to tell y'all. Dilly dilly, motherfuckers. Yeah, but like, I know. I'm such a mainstream football fanboy. But you know what? It is what it is. So there's your bottle. Look super clean, you know, just that old school beer ball look with the clear blue and the Bud Light and the white lettering. Look super classy, super clean. There you go. Now, before you two demonetizes me for smoking a cigarette, I'm going to get one more drag off of this and then we'll get into it. I haven't heard Jason on the, well, it's Jason on the song in a long time. Like I said, Bud Light, 12 fluid ounce bottle, all that good stuff. To quote my buddy, terribly tactical, to open this, as always, with every other bottle I've done, channel, we have the ubiquitous church key. It's not ubiquitous chat music, so I'm not stealing shit, but ubiquity church key first pop. Damn, it crooked on me. I think you need to just cut this one. Now, keep it going, keep it going. Just pop, just pop it off camera, I don't care. There we go. There are no edit on these Friday beer reviews. We just kind of wing them and see how they go. Where'd that straw go? Now let's get into the taste profile of this. <sighs> the only reason I did that is not that this is shitty beer, but, um, it, I've been drinking a lot of Bud Light, Bud Light, I've been drinking a lot of Bud Heavies since the uh, regular Budweiser review, and I'm not used to, you know, I'm not used to the combination of Bud Light at all coming off the regular Budweiser. Because uh, you can feel a lot more. But onto the taste profile of this stuff. It's gonna sound weird when I say this, but it's got a spicier taste to it than regular Budweiser does. Yeah, it definitely does. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, the huge taste to it. The way 
usually does. And now I don't drink this stuff because of the foot locker commercials like most people do. I don't drink beer based off with the commercials and how funny they are. I drink it because it tastes good. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a uh, 3.2% alcohol. It should be. This is actually what my mom drinks, or what my mom drank, I should say, when she would go back to Minnesota to visit our family that we got back there because like I said in the Kojme review in Midwestern states they got 6% beer and uh, from what I've been told 6% Kojme is just some nasty shit so Oh no! I would give this a solid uh, five out of ten. It's not great, but it's not terrible. It's middle of the road for sure. And I think I got this all the whole case included. I think I got this for twelve bucks. So. You know, it's a dollar a beer, so I ain't complaining. But remember, guys, whatever you do, you do drink, drink responsibly. And remember, we all are American made. God bless.